So here's the video that I promised of how to make uh, the ramen dish that I made. <clears throat> so you guys can make it at home. So obviously get your ingredients out ready. Uh, the ingredient list will be in, in, the, in the link below. So the first thing you want to do is get your dry ramen noodles and set them in the hot boiling water, leave them to one side. Make sure that the steaks are left out of the vacuum pack for a while. It's really important that if you are, if you want to make this as sin free as possible, then please cut off all the fat. Um, got all the ginger. Um, I tend to use half the ginger for the marinade, half the ginger for the um for the stock so use garlic and the ginger onto the steaks as i've done here below and um, you want to add in your soy sauce you can add as much or as little as you actually want here um, you don't need to use that much you just need enough to cut um coat the steaks use the um <clears throat> same pan as you parboil the broccoli uh to put in your ginger your stock i tend to use is um about three stock cubes for three portions as, as shown here um, add in your boiling water okay you want to do this as early as possible to get the infusion of the ginger with the beef as well we use chicken stock if you're going to use chicken or vegetable if you're going to use a vegetable ramen or if you're going to use fish use fish stock um, chop your coriander chop your onion get a plate put it all onto one plate as well so it's out of the way you can use as much or as little chili as you actually want um, i tend to I, I do like there to be a, quite a lot of spice in mine and um, parboil your eggs i use eight minutes to uh, boil the eggs so boil the water first chuck the eggs in and set your alexa timer for eight minutes cool the eggs down whilst they're still hot though okay double make sure that they're definitely cooked here's a little cheeky little way of making sure um, you find out how cooked they are without opening them. If you spin the egg when it's cooked, it will spin like this. <clears throat> Get your fry light. Fry your steaks. Depending on how, how you like it, I like mine pretty much medium rare. So make sure that you cook them how you like them. Make sure that you get a really hot pan. You see that there's a lot of char on that steak. That adds to the flavor. Quite important. Make sure that you rest your steak as well and you don't want it bleeding all over your board so there's the ramen noodles cooled down left to one side so now we're just going to plate up so just get a handful of these noodles in the bowl cold put some sriracha sauce optional but if you do want to make this in free cut the fat off and don't have the sriracha sauce but this sriracha sauce is um half a cent for a tablespoon i'll then boil up the um, ginger and the beef stock mix put in your part boiled broccoli to start warming that through and then it's simple case of building the plate in stages now i still haven't cooked the noodles there i've gone in cold i've uh, cut mistakes i've put the chopped coriander in <clears throat> layer the steak on the top you can see i've put the chopped eggs on there as well and when you put in this boiling stock solution into the bowl that will warm the noodles through Wacky chilies on, and that's pretty much ready to go. You do this this way, it's foolproof every time, and obviously you can see Sam there. She's got a great big cheesy grin on her face. Enjoy.